I am just going to let you get on with it because we like surprises. Good luck. Now, we all think our dogs are magical, but Finn truly is, and for more than one reason. David, I'd like you to think of an object and write that word down. Don't show me. Have you done that? Yes. Hold it up to your chest. And come and join us at the front of the stage. In a minute, I'm going to close my eyes. And when I do, I want you to show Finn the word. Show him the word. Can you please return to your seat? Now, David, there's no possible way I could know what word you've picked. No. Finn, what was that word? David, the word is... Table. Hold that up high so everyone can see. Oh, my God. Now, everybody thinks that their dog is amazing, but Finn truly is. Simon, can you come and join us on stage? Yes. A big round of applause, please, for Simon. <laughs> Simon, I want you to kneel down and face Finn. For the last two <coughs> weeks... <coughs> for the last two weeks, we've been asking friends to think of a word that best describes Finn. We've got companion. Brave, amazing, incredible, fast. Simon, can you hold your left hand like that? Now, I want you to look into Finn's eyes. Keep looking into Finn's eyes. And with your right thumb, I want you to open a page. Have a peek at that word and remember it. Now, Simon, for the first time, can you tell us what that word was? Heroic. Now, there's no possible way I could know what word you were going to pick. No. But Finn did. Because before we came here this evening, Finn had a word engraved on the tag on his collar. Now, Simon, can you please have a look at the tag on Finn's collar and read out loud the word that's there? Heroic. Heroic!
Hello, hello. Well, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm so fine, you know, to be on the biggest stage in the world. Yeah, man! Wait, wait. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Derek Sandy, and I'm from the Isle of Wight! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> the Isle of Wight. Um, how old are you, sir? I'm 56 years of age, but feels like 26. Do you have a day job? This is my job, entertaining the beautiful people of the Isle of Wight, letting the world know about the Isle of Wight. So, when you want the sunshine, come to the Isle of Wight. <laughs> yeah, man! That's a very warm one where you no, go. It. OK, and what's the name of the song you're going to be singing? It's an original song, Simon. Welcome to the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Anyway, run the rhythm, my selector. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. What's your name, sir? Roger Butler, but Chucklefoot I'm knowing us, look. And how old are you, Roger? 73. OK, <laughs> the stage is yours, Roger. All the best. OK, here we go. I'm going to do a song here that um, I wrote it. Done it, Granny, any whiskey at the wedding. And everything will be fine. Have a go at that, try it. She stumbled around and said, Oh, you're well built. But when she pulled his sporran, his eyes went on tilt. Granny is at it again. Last no. time. Don't get granny any whiskey at the wedding. Everything will be. Everything will be. Be lucky, be lucky. What's your name, darling? Georgia Borch. Where are you from, Georgia Borch? I'm from Malta. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. How old are you? I'm 10. 10? Yeah. Gosh, you look so much older than that. You're Thank tall. Thank you. And when you woke up this morning, how did you feel? Oh my God, I'm going to go to Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> <laughs> and are you singing? Yes, I'm going to sing. And is this the biggest audience that you've ever performed in front of? Yes, yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling, what's the song that you would like to sing today? Um, it's 10, it's an original song. 
And you wrote that? Yes. Okay, what's it about? It's about like how some adults, they don't hear what their kids say, like you just leave them hanging around, whatever, you don't care. <laughs> but your parents listen to you, right? Yeah, my parents this listen This has nothing to, to do with them? Yeah, no, no. it's not. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, darling, good luck. Thank you. up this morning this is going to be a great day I could feel it I have a son who's five trust me I listen to him not the other way around I learn a lot more from him than other people um, so I get it and it was amazing I cannot believe you are ten years old I was barely out of nappies when I was ten years old I mean just everything a lot to really really move me and you floored me like absolutely floored you your vocal capability 
your lyrical capability, you are 10 years old. This is unbelievable. You are a star. You have the best personality as well. I love Thank everything you. about you. Congratulations. Thank you. I thought she was amazing. I mean, like, really good. The whole I time, mean, that? Was so good. Amazing. Hypnosis for many years now. Oh, yes. um, however, films have been a huge part of my life for many years. Films can influence us in so many different ways. They can make you feel happy, sad, create anxiety, fear, but most of all, surprise. And hopefully, we're going to inspire some of those today. Now, I've got here a deck of cards. Each card has been printed with the name of a different film, as you can see. Taxi Driver, Wally, Love Actually, Frozen, etc., etc. Each of the judges is going to have a free choice. David, yes. would you just point to the back of one of the cards for me? This one here. David, do not show Alicia. Very important. Alicia, hey. would you do me a favor? Would you just point to the back of one of your cards? This one, the top one. OK, do not show Amanda and do not show David. Amanda. Just point to the back of one of your cards. This one here. Do not show Simon and do not show Alicia. And Simon, yep. you just point to the back of one of the cards. Just point to the back. That one that there. One. I would like you to take it. Do not let Amanda see. I won't. Okay, judges, do you all know the card that you've chosen? Yes. yes. You all know the name of that film? Yes. Yeah. Most importantly, have you seen those films? I had to turn down the lead part in this particular movie. It's a true story. Is it Shrek? You were there so well. Oh dear, I'm gonna get buzzed on this one, aren't I? <laughs> okay, Amanda, this is what I like to do. In a few seconds' time, I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes. This is very important. 
do not open your eyes until I say, do you understand? Yes. Amanda, I'd like you to put your hand out for me like this, your left hand. Good. Close your eyes now. Amanda, keep your eyes closed. Don't say anything. Just really think about the film title. Oh, my God! Keep your eyes closed and focus 100% on the name and the title of the film. Amanda, I would like you to open your eyes. What was the name of the film? Man on Fire. Wow! Ah, what? What did he do? A man walks across the stage on fire. Simon, you just chose the film. I know it's going to be, it's going to be Shaitor. It's going to be Shaitor. Do you know the name? No, wait, wait, wait. Do you... It's going to be Grumpy Old Men. <laughs> hey, Grumpy Old Men. the hell. Why? Sleep. This is brilliant! Like a blockbuster movie! Simon, what was the name of your film? Skyfall. Skyfall. Oh my god! Alicia, don't say the film out loud. Oh wow! You thought of the Matrix? Yes. Yes! Finally, David. There was something in here for you, David. This is something that links to your film. The Little Mermaid. Don't say it, David, but I think this has got something to do with it. Focus on your film right now. Stop! Magic Mike! Joking is me. <laughs> he was only joking. It wasn't really Simon. Who, are, who is me? Me. And me is. Me. Yes. I'm Paul Antonio. Ah. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. Paul. Thank you very much. So, Paul, what's the number one dream for you? My number one dream is to become a comedian half as good as Mr. David. Okay. Well, you're very kind. <laughs> The stage is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh, you know that joke. I'll get on to the next one. Something's lost in translation here. <laughs> Some of my jokes are not that funny, I know. <laughs> Listen, I know what you're thinking. Is this stuff funny in Cyprus? No, it's not. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Simon is thinking, are you laughing out of politeness or are you really laughing? <laughs> oh, politeness. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Me and my wife, we decided we don't want any children. So if anybody wants them, they're sitting in that corner over there. <laughs> OK, I'm only kidding, kids. I wouldn't give you away. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have been a great audience. I'm going to leave you with this. I didn't bring it with me anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> David. Well, it's in, the, it's in the great tradition of sort of good, bad comedy. I think it was a little hit and miss, but you put a smile on my face today. So oh, thank, thank you. you very much, David. Amanda, what did you say? Yeah, you are lovely, but the comedy was rubbish, oh. so... <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Sai? Well, you know, I think arguably you're probably the worst comedian we've ever had, but I really like it. <laughs> well, let's, let's take a vote. I like you. I'm saying yes. Yeah! Oh, you're joking. <laughs> yes. Amanda? 
I'm so sorry, Paul. It's a no from me. That's fine. Thank you. I am saying yes. Yes! Oh, go. You're through. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is a joke. It's, it's no joke. Oh, apparently not. No jokes around here for a little while. <laughs> Yeah, very well, thank you. Very well. Three yeses. Wow, I can't believe it. No, no can I? <laughs> no, no, I'm only being serious. Now, listen, yeah. um, have you got any other jokes that you can tell me? Let me think about one. OK. Hmm. You have a little think. Hold on, sit down. Um, don't know if you've heard that the rulers of Dubai have cancelled a new series of the Flintstones. Oh, seriously, man? Yeah. Apparently, the rulers of Dubai don't like a laugh. <laughs> that wasn't a punchline. Oh. You, you laughed before I said the punchline. <laughs> Absolutely ruined it. <laughs> the rulers of Dubai have cancelled the new series of the Flintstones because apparently the rulers of Dubai don't have a sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't got to line it, mate. Oh, 360. Uh, seriously. <clears throat> <laughs> He's lost it again. I'm literally, literally <laughs> one line away from the punchline. I knew what was coming. That's why I laughed. You knew what was coming? That's why I laughed. Right, well, you, you say the punchline. <laughs> so, uh, the okay. rulers of Dubai, I don't know if you've heard, but they've cancelled the new series of the Flintstones. Oh, yes. Because the rulers of Dubai don't seem to have a sense of humour. You haven't finished it. You're doing the punchline, Paul. You said you know what's coming, mate. Right, let's do it again. So, don't know if you've heard, but the rulers of Dubai, they have cancelled the new series of the Flintstones because apparently the rulers of Dubai don't have a sense of humour. Because they haven't got any wheels. <laughs> to pull on their little wagons. <laughs> In Dubai. Well, do you know what? He said he knew it. And he absolutely did. Hello. Hello. What's your name, please? Eaton. How old are you? Nine. Where are you from? I'm from the best city in the world, Dublin. Woo woo. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Do you ever get mistaken for Declan Donnelly? No. No, funny. Eaton's a little bit shorter. Hi. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What would be the absolute dream? To win Britain's Got Talent and become famous around the world. Oh, great. <laughs> what would you do with the money, by the way? I'd buy me mummy and daddy house down the country. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? And then I'd get myself some. Oh. <laughs> would, would, you, would you buy any of my best-selling books? No. No. <laughs> You. Good luck. <laughs> Y'all ready for this?
Hi, my name is Sheila Callahan, and I'm from Chester. Lovely. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Tell me something interesting about yourself. I sing with my ironing board at home, and so I felt if it was here, then okay. I wouldn't be nervous. Right, Sheila, the stage is yours. This song that I've written myself is for somebody that's done such a lot for the entertainment industry. Sorry. Okay. It's about Simon, I think I'm going to puke. Dear Mr. Walliams, I am singing this to I hope you don't buzz me. Oh, how I've longed to sing for you. Because you're one of those men You made me pick up a pen I had to write a song for you <laughs> You're a swimmer, an author, yes. a saver of Labradors Tim. Mr. Saver of Labradors Where have you saved a Labrador? Oh, I'm just contagious, flirtatious, courageous Voted best judge in town an author, a swimmer with Labradors, Mr. Variety. Okay, give us your names, please. Kath. And Joe. Have we met? Uh, we were Beauty and the Beast last oh, year. And this year you're Elsa and Sven. Sven. And sorry, what is Sven? He's a reindeer from Frozen. Oh, it's a reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, and you're husband and wife, aren't you? Yes, we are, yeah. Hopefully, you know, when people do come back second time, it's better normally. Yeah. So good luck. Oh, I've just noticed the reindeer is wearing <laughs> tap shoes. Yes! The snow goes white on the mountain tonight, not a footprint to be seen. A kingdom of isolation, and it looks like I'm the queen. The wind is howling like a swirl. <laughs> Incredible. Wow. You like that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome.
Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. Thank you so much. What's your name? Pontus. I'm from Sweden. So what brings you to Britain's Got Talent today? I'm going to show you the world's most dangerous card trick. Oh, great. <laughs> I love danger. I love dangerous card tricks. If you were to just grab one of those, as long as you're happy, yeah, just have a peek. And just place it right over there. That's perfect. So, David, in my hand, I've got a combination padlock. I'd like you to think of a four-digit combination. So just write it down and I'll look away. Perfect. So this combination lock is to be set to the combination that you just chose. So I'll leave this lock to my assistant Jesper here and he'll help you to set it to that combination so that everything is as it should be. Back here, we got a water tank. Can I ask a question? Roughly how long have you got to get out before you die? We don't want to get to two minutes. Got it, OK. <laughs> We don't have to get him out, will we? It's 222. Guys! 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 I hope after all this he knows what card it is. Simon, you picked a card, right? The Ten of Diamonds. <laughs> 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 Does this Ten of Diamonds match? Is that cool? David. You said you were going to perform the world's most dangerous car trick, and that must be the world's most dangerous <laughs> car trick. Cut, Bobby. Pen. What you do is very clever. The presentation isn't quite up there yet. Showmanship, basically. Imagination. I think that it's a really brilliant concept. It's thrilling. I think you're crazy, uh, very brave. I'm going to kick this off with a yes. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. You've got four yeses. Congratulations. <laughs>